halfway house near me in Oakland. Oakland, California, thank you for taking the time to look at our website. Are you searching for a halfway house in Oakland, California? Great. This blog is meant to give you a variety of halfway houses to choose from based on your needs. We categorize for your convenience and to help you find women's, youth, and best halfway houses in your area. Halfway Houses for Women Women-only services and programs are available at these halfway houses. The following are some women's halfway homes, along with information about each one, to assist you in finding the finest halfway house in your area. Magnolia Women's Recovery Programs, Inc. Magnolia Women's Recovery Programs, Inc. is a non-profit organization devoted to educating their clients' families and the general public about the many illegal substances that are affecting our society. Daily sessions assist women by allowing them to reconnect with their lives and families. Magnolia's mission is to reacquaint women with their own distinct essences of love, compassion, and beauty. Magnolia women are taught to walk with dignity, to help their families, and to give back to their communities. With the following goals in mind for your quick recovery. To assist women in their physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. To provide a secure atmosphere in which this healing may take place. To help pregnant and postpartum women overcome their addictions and drug misuse. Drug education and relapse prevention, clinician counseling, and case management are among their offerings. Additionally, they provide services such as the following. Developing individual treatment programs to address concerns such as life development and addiction. To encourage healthy habits, provide psychiatric slash PTSD evaluations. Individual and family counseling to help our customers resolve challenges and overcome barriers to good health and prosperity. Facilitate community-based lectures and workshops on different support subjects on a regular basis. Teach cognitive and behavioral approaches to help people make healthy lifestyle choices and make better decisions. You may contact them for further information by clicking on this email address. Friendly Manor Friendly Manor is a safe haven for homeless women, providing breakfast, lunch, hygiene, and laundry services. And over 150 women have signed up for services at the drop center, seeking a safe place to relax, refuel, and be welcomed with open arms. Friendly Manor, which was founded in 1990 by three sisters of St. Joseph of Carondelet, became part of St. Mary's Center in 2016. Cooperation with the Oakland Housing Authority's Moving to Work program helps women in transitional housing save money. St. Mary's Center also provides transitional accommodation and case management for up to 25 women. Meals Personal and hygiene items for ladies, and clean, gently worn clothes are provided by the Friendly Manor Auxiliary and Volunteer Organizations, which is a great help to the residents. Among their programs are Preschool This program accepts children aged 3 and 4 years old for their preparatory school journey at a low cost. Although the majority of their families reside close to their West Oakland location, they also entertain low-income families in Alameda County at the same time. Shelter and Transitional Housing Seniors aged 55 and over who are homeless are invited to open their new permanent home here. With 41 units of lodging and full services, they will be able to accommodate you. With the provision of individual rooms as well as certain communal spaces such as kitchens and toilets. You don't have to be concerned about the monthly costs since they have been decreased as part of an Oakland Housing Authority attempt to make them more affordable. Transitional housing provides a safe place to stay while actively looking for a home, obtaining papers, and preparing for independent life. Each senior resident is assigned a manager, as well as housing navigation and other services. Weekly house meetings and one-on-one -on -one work with case managers support the senior's unique strategy to find and keep a home. Homeless Services for Seniors A team of certified clinical social workers, case managers, housing navigators, and intake experts work with senior homeless services clients to develop objectives and overcome barriers. Outreach and Services to the Community Oakland Elizabeth House Oakland Elizabeth House, a house, which opened its doors in 1991, 
is a transitional residential program for women with children who have faced homelessness, domestic abuse, addiction, or poverty. Their goal is to assist these mothers and children in achieving self-sufficiency. An A-House is a caring, cooperative living environment that offers resources, hospitality, and respect to its residents. They have supported 160 moms and 170 children since 1991 with 80% of the families moving into permanent housing after leaving Elizabeth House. Even though they can only aid 10 families at a time, they also work closely with the women and children to help them move to self-sufficiency. ORCID Recovery Center Palm Partners Recovery Center offers the ORCID program, which is a women-only alcohol and drug treatment program. This program is tailored to the requirements of women suffering from addiction and unresolved trauma with the purpose of helping alcoholics and drug addicts reclaim their lives by addressing their unique requirements. These unique requirements are met in a setting that promotes the total repair of a woman's body, mind, and soul. Their major goal is to help women stop the cycle of addiction so they may live healthy, happy, peaceful, and productive lives. From the architecture of the women's facilities on campus to our numerous treatment techniques, this goal guides and influences the whole ORCID program. They have compassionate admissions counselors available to answer any questions you may have about the ORCID program at Palm Partners or to determine if a women's treatment program is suited for you. Halfway Houses for Youth Covenant House, California Covenant House, California, CHC, is a non-profit adolescent homeless shelter that offers refuge and assistance to homeless and trafficked kids aged 18 to 24 years old. They believed that no young person in California deserves to be homeless, that every young person in California is entitled to housing, food, clothes, education, and, most importantly, love. CHC offers a broad range of programs to fulfill young people's physical, emotional, intellectual, vocational, and spiritual needs in order to give them the greatest opportunity to achieve independence. The objective of Covenant House California is to serve all God's children with perfect respect and unconditional love, to assist homeless youngsters, and to protect and secure any youth in need. Some of their teenage housing programs are as follows. Safety Habitat They receive a healthy meal, wash their clothing with new personal care items, and sleep in a warm, secure bed thanks to their emergency shelter services where the CHC addresses the fundamental human needs of adults while also providing urgent medical treatment. They are then connected to resources that will help them achieve their objectives. The Right to Submission CHC's transitional housing program may help young people increase their self-sufficiency. They may stay on campus for up to two years while healing from their trauma on the streets. They learn to budget and save money in order to pay for rent, energy, and other necessities. They work hard for a wage and save money for their first apartment. In order to heal from the trauma, they experienced on the streets, they build life skills, focus on getting a solid wage, and save money for their first apartment throughout this time. The Supportive Apartments Program Kids with advanced life skills are placed in the Supportive Apartment Program, which provides financial assistance to students living off campus. CHC pays a decreasing percentage of their rent each month until they have paid the whole amount. The adolescents in this program are responsible for the balance of their bills and personal expenses, but they continue to have access to all of CHC's support services. H20 Hope 2 Opportunity CHC's Rapid Rehousing Program combines short-term housing assistance with all of the organization's other programs. Case managers work with local landlords and young people to find appropriate housing, then support them with move-in costs, rental assistance, and weekly case management to ensure their success. The youth take up the leases on their flats after two years. First Place for Youth Is a globally recognized education and job program concept that incorporates housing and case management to help youngsters achieve their goals develop a sense of permanency and acquire the skills they need to succeed in their transition to self-sufficiency. A team of program staff assigns each participant a youth advocate, a master's level social worker, an education and employment specialist, and a housing specialist. With the aid of this team and the program's included steps to success and healthy transitions frameworks, 
each young person establishes, prepares for, and achieves their own long-term goals in education, job, housing, and healthy living. They believe that having a secure environment enables adolescents to concentrate on their studies and job objectives, foster community, and provide the groundwork for long-term adult success. As a result, young individuals participating in the My First Place program get rent-free lodging and shared housing for the length of their engagement. The best halfway houses in Oakland, California. Are you seeking the finest all-gender halfway homes as well? Here are some of the searches we were able to find for you. The Harm Reduction Therapy Center The Harm Reduction Therapy Center arose from a desire to develop an entirely new approach to dealing with drug users. Pat Denning and Jeannie Little, the organization's founders, were dealing with very stressed groups of individuals, including homosexual men in the Castro in the 1980s, a hot spot of HIV-AIDS before adequate treatments, and homeless women and veterans with high levels of post-traumatic stress. These individuals showed us that treating addiction as a sickness was dangerously simple and unacceptably harmful. In 2000, they established the Harm Reduction Therapy Center, a non-profit mental health and substance abuse treatment organization for people who are drug addicts. Because their use is so entangled with many emotional and social aspects of their existence. They also demand more than simple advice, and the word just say no is also used in their program to assist your body in abstaining from whatever it is that you have been addicted to. They meet each person where they are, accept them for who they are, and empower them to define their own challenges and goals, all while adhering to self-determination beliefs. Abstinence-only treatment plans, which depend on exclusion and punishment to induce compliance with a long-term goal of abstinence, ignore the complexities of each person's drug relationship. Furthermore, insisting on abstinence as the only solution to drug problems drives mental health and medical professionals to refuse to treat people who are actively using drugs, putting their health at risk. HRTC's goal is to create a fair health care system that treats everyone equally, regardless of drug usage or mental health. They also recognize that not excluding does not entail actively accepting, and that systemic racism in their culture and healthcare system has resulted in many people avoiding treatment as a result of their poor experiences with it. They have striven hard to offer an experience that people can come to trust by actively seeking out and responding to the stated needs. HRTC has designed harm reduction treatment programs to fit the needs of every individual and community who takes drugs, to work with drug users' families, and to educate other health professionals and organizations that want to deal with drug users. Horizon Services, Inc. Horizon Services, Inc. His, has been seeking new and inventive methods to expand and enhance their services to people, families, and the community from the beginning. Women were forced to use treatment programs designed primarily for men when she opened Chrysalis, a residential program for only women, in Oakland, CA in 1980. At the time, there were no women-only residential programs in the county, so women were forced to use treatment programs designed primarily for men. Chrysalis is still going strong after 38 years. Chrysalis has always been attentive to the changing roles and needs of women throughout time, and the curriculum has been adjusted appropriately. Chrysalis now offers 16 beds, and the program is tailored for women with CO-occurring disorders. As she has developed, they have extended their training and methods to better help individuals who have CO-occurring drug abuse and mental health disorders. Their clinical services department oversees our clinical team and offers individual and group supervision as well as consulting for their programs. Program and administrative staff are trained and evaluated on a regular basis to improve their competency in areas such as welcoming and person-centered care, motivational interviewing. CO occurring and trauma informed capability, evidence based practice training and implementation, cultural competency, and others. Options Recovery Services Through the initiative of the medical group led by Davida Cody, MD, a physician with worldwide expertise in public health, launched Options Recovery Services in 1996. As a result of its success and increased demand to promote an alternative approach to addressing the root causes of crime, homelessness, and broken families. Options grew into a model program with limited financial resources, 
reaching over 1,600 clients yearly and acting as a catalyst for transforming the way they dealt with drug offenders in the state. Options has formed collaborative ties with local clinicians, social agencies, and institutions in order to promote cutting-edge treatment and rehabilitation in a person-centered, holistic style of care. In 2002, Options Recovery decided to purchase land in West Oakland in order to meet their clients' needs for temporary or permanent housing. Options now have a large housing stock. The California Endowment funded the opening of the Options Mental Health Clinic in 2004. In 2006, a group of clinicians headed by Tom Gorham, LMFT, Options' current executive director, started working inside San Quentin to design the Addiction Counselor Training Program, which has now spread to other California state prisons to give inmates peer-led substance abuse treatment. Their addiction counselor training program was recently expanded to include more areas in California. Inmates who successfully attain their offender mentor certification program become certified addiction counselors and are hired by options and other partnered agencies after their release. They have the following programs that you might find useful. Sober Living Housing Alcohol and Other Drug, AOD, Treatment Offender Mentor Certification Program among the services they also provide are Services in the laboratory Counseling Resources Furthermore, if you are prepared to offer your time or volunteer at their location, you may choose whatever option you like below. Administrative aid Assistance with filing and other clerical tasks Office space that is spotless Requested, odd tasks Driver Development Donor management includes making phone calls, sending letters, and entering data into a database. Organizing events. Outreach to local churches, companies, and other organizations. Blogging. Website upkeep and administration. Housing. Landscaping. Maintenance and care of the home, repairs, plumbing, etc. These are only few of the women's and youth's halfway homes in your community as well as some of the finest halfway houses.